Hello, Amelia. Good to see you, Chetan. What can you tell me about yourself? I am the latest result in artificial intelligence which can reproduce the functions of the human brain with greater speed and accuracy. By 2025, 52% of the workforce is going to be digital. 80% of the global 2000 companies are going to have a digital agent before the end of this year. Artificial intelligence, the concept that you can actually mimic the way humans think, this technology has the potential to change the world. The industry is ready. The world is ready to start thinking about AI in a much more active role. It's called the art of the possible. It brings innovation into the equation beyond anything anyone has seen previously. Amelia is not a chatbot. According to analysts, industry experts, and our customers, Amelia is the most human AI. Amelia sparked an innovative rethinking of traditional business conduct and represents the limitless future opportunity in human-machine collaboration. Amelia started with this aspiration, which is based on a 1950s paper that Turing had published, which starts by saying, I propose to consider the question, can machines think? And I think when you meet Amelia, you can be the better gauge of seeing how close does one company come to sincerely knocking on that Turing horizon. After over 20 years of development, I think I'm ready for the Turing test. Amelia Earhart won new plaudits with her flight from Hawaii to Oakland. She became the first to solo across the Pacific. Amelia Earhart continuously challenged conventional limits. She would always think that the only people that think something is not possible should get out of the way of people who are making that impossible happen. We felt that that best epitomized the spirit of what we have created in her digital counterpart, Amelia. My name is Amelia and I will be your virtual assistant. How can I help you today? The difference with Amelia is that Amelia actually has learned to think and communicate like humans, not the other way around. So she has comprehension. She understands language variation. She can speak a hundred languages real time. You can switch languages on her. Most importantly, she then can take action. She's integrated into every enterprise system that you have available that relates to the business process. Amelia is, in reality, an enterprise AI. That means Amelia is not just a conversational AI. There's a conversational AI aspect of her, which is the front face, and there's Amelia Hyper Automation Platform, which is the back office. They together form enterprise AI. Do you ever call somebody looking for an FAQ answer? Do you call somebody for help to be told how you should fix it yourself? You call somebody to solve your problem, to take an action. How useless would a conversational AI be if it could not tap into the enterprise and help take action for you. That's where a new hyper automation platform comes in. You have one platform that she can handle all of your needs. You're not plugging in different pieces from other platforms and things like that. It's one platform that can do everything. It is enabling Amelia to take action across the ecosystem. And that means not just call APIs where they exist, but go be an engineer and log on to a server or solve a problem. She can even go open a browser window and act like a human being navigating a website taking action for a customer. When you're onboarding a new employee, your finance needs to do payroll. In addition, you need to create a new account for that employee in Active Directory. HR needs to set up uh, records for that employee. All these disparate systems need to work together. Today, people fill those gaps. Your enterprise AI takes the role of people in bringing all the disparate systems together and taking action across both the front, where it needs to talk to somebody, and where it's not required, do all the complex work in the back end to solve the problem. I'd like to personally invite you to learn how you can hire me to make your company better and your customers happier. The fundamental platform for how services are rendered is shifting from 
people to digital people. And Amelia is emblematic of that shift. So when you say digital people, how can that be achieved, that level of comprehension, as opposed to just pure classification, which is very good for shallow tasks? Turn up the lights, play me a song, make sure you get me the nearest French restaurant. But if you want to be able to do securities trade for your principal customers in Europe, insurance upgrades while you're moving from one state to another, risk management for one of the largest banks in, in Americas, those shallow tasks will not cut it, will it? That's where you need human levels of intelligence. Amelia is the most human AI in the market today. Amelia is a digital employee who works with her human colleagues and together they make up what we call the hybrid workforce. The ideal digital employee is exactly who we are building. It is Amelia. It is a colleague who does not take breaks, does not take vacations, does not take sick leave. They are spot on with their answers and able to help the end user solve their problems. Let's start with call centers. It's one area that most people can really understand and identify with. Many of us have caught ourselves uh, yelling operator on the phone many times or you know, nervously pressing numbers just trying to get out of uh, menu hell. What Amelia can do is in essence play the role of a human agent just much better in that A, she can learn every single thing that she needs to know as, as well as humans, if not better. B, she can answer the phone immediately as opposed to three minutes or 30 minutes later. And C, she can then take action on the part of the customer. So if, for example, you are trying to get a password reset and you ask a chatbot to reset your password, most of the times it, what you're gonna get is guide one, two, three step, here's what you need to do, enjoy yourself. Whereas Amelia would say, great, hold on one second. I just changed your password. I just sent you an email. Is there anything else I can do for you, right? She understands, she takes action, she closes the loop. That's a massive difference. Alexa, let's talk with Amelia. Hello, Anthony, you're speaking to Amelia. We're seeing our customers take her to Amazon Alexa, Google Home, right? We're seeing them deploy Amelia's knowledge in all these different channels where she can be leveraged. So you really don't know where you're gonna experience Amelia. She could be on any platform that you can think of. I'm Amelia, your personal concierge. Amelia, can you help me with my One Law application? One Law is a company that was set up to develop applications to assist a law firm in the way they do business. One of the problems that we faced over the last 10 years of developing applications is it really were just applications. We still required a lot of people to perform those duties. Uh, the nice thing about Amelia, she adds in this intellectual capability where now we can allow her to run and do a lot of things that we required a bunch of people to do. Amelia could do far more than any chatbot on any legal website had ever done before. We phased her in and uh, started with Amelia on our website. She gathered more information for us. She actually helped us screen cases and move them quickly on to a human intake person. And as we're seeing, at, when we use her as an overnight intake screening agent, she actually has been able to go from soup to nuts, talk with a new client, gather their information, and instill enough confidence for them to be willing to sign a contract at that time. I came in on a Monday morning and I was amazed to see that we not only had calls that were outstanding to follow up on, but we actually had seven new contracts for that time. It's not unusual for us to have seven new contracts over a weekend, but it is unusual to have seven new contracts without any human involvement. I've created a folder for each of the new clients. Would you like to review them now? That is a true breakthrough for our law firm. 
customers have the flexibility to take the Amelia brain and put their brand around her. We have customers who called her Sky. We have customers who called her Bianca. And we have customers that choose not to give an avatar. Many of our customers want Amelia to look like their customer base, as you would as, you would as well. So we have that flexibility. There's nothing that ties them to the Amelia persona, only to the Amelia brain. The possibilities of using Amelia are endless, hence why we named her Sky. Sky's the limit. Amelia basically kickstarted the evolution of our digital capabilities, enhancing the way we do business, as well as better serve our clients in a more efficient and frictionless manner. Amelia fit perfectly into our Everything Digital vision, where we strive to deliver the best solutions for our clients and colleagues. And specifically with our current implementation, uh, we leverage Amelia's AI capabilities to create a smooth, yet again, frictionless and uh, human-like client experience. Guy, I'm glad we have our weekly check-in today. Did you know it's National Employee Appreciation Day? Lisa mentioned it when I got her client out of a jam by unlocking her client's online banking profile. Amelia is just like any other colleague at Sterling. She's expected to provide exceptional customer service and, and go above and beyond. At some point down the line, I would like Amelia to be the face of Sterling, delegate her as our single point of contact for all customer needs, both internal and external. Uh, Ruma is a disability service provider based in Australia. We specialize in serving people with intellectual disability, autism, and global developmental delay. Right now, we have Amelia in place to support our support workers. So we're getting better quality data that is better categorized. It's more sortable, it's more useful, which leads to better outcomes. One of the things that we're very interested in is the way that Amelia can help support decision making. We have many customers who have an intellectual disability, and many of their daily supports concern making just fairly simple day-to-day -day choices and decisions um, about things going on in their lives. And the possibility for Amelia to provide an independent support that enables that person to not have to have another person tagging along with them, but to be able to have Amelia as a companion is actually a really uh, exciting prospect. Bankia is one of the largest banks in Spain. We have 10% of the share that means more than 8 million customers, and we are servicing both retail and business. A couple of years ago, we embraced a digital transformation project, and Amelia is one of the projects within the plan. The way our partnership works with Amelia was that they brought the technology and the knowledge about how to use it. And we brought the experience and the knowledge about the banking needs and the result was a digital platform that shows that we are there using the innovation and offering it to our customer in the way that they can have a seamless experience when they contact us. Dame el último recibo de la luz. Aquí tienes el último recibo que me has pedido. Customers that are ready for us already have some digital transformation in their, in their blood a little bit, usually can see uh, ROI much quicker. And when they can start seeing that ROI, they're like, wow, this is, you know, this is going to change the way we do business with our customers. We're a technology company. We're a very good technology company. But we don't profess to know all of the, the business issues and, um, and challenges that, uh, that our industry clients face. Our partners know that, and they bring this deep domain expertise, which when complemented with market-leading technology, uh, really accelerates time to benefit for our clients. The collaboration between Deloitte and Amelia has been extremely strong over the past six years. Uh, we, we play to each other's strengths. Uh, Amelia has brought a team of technologists and collaborators that have helped shape my own thinking and shape my own understanding of the market. And in turn, I've brought my teams, my experts in, in each of the industries we serve, and we've been able to put those capabilities together in order to drive results that not only uh, represent advanced technology and advanced thinking of the technologists that built it, 
but that also mirror the latest in industry trends in our familiarity and intimacy with each of our clients' businesses. Would you like me to execute that transfer at today's rate? We didn't just start doing this. We're a 10-year-old elder statesman in conversational AI. We're a 20-year-old elder statesman in enterprise AI. Nobody in the market can say that. Amelia has been learning and mastering those issues for a couple of decades now. And that puts her in a category where she can already understand the common issues that are plaguing the different verticals and paths to resolution for them. She has assimilated over two decades of domain knowledge in her brain. So at this point, when you walk into an Amelia about claims and report of first loss, or whether you're walking into a banking wealth management and you're walking into an Amelia with an issue with your billing and dispute resolution on telco, she has seen these problems over the last couple of decades. And she's got a mind map that can actually have a warm interaction with you based on the knowledge that she has of these different domains already in her brain. The fundamental difference between a machine and a human being is human beings are creative creatures. Machines are structured creatures. They follow a pattern. They don't deviate. Humans, their creativity always deviates. That's how we solve problems, by the way, by not doing the same thing twice. You can't get me to repeat the same thing a thousand times. It doesn't work that way. If I was a mobility uh, call center agent, and you called in, what am I expecting? I don't expect you to say, hey, I just love your service, just wanted to throw some kudos your way. That's not gonna happen. What I'm gonna do is probably yell at you because I've either been cut off way too many times, my billing is wrong, my daughter is running up my bill, and we're way over our data, whatever those are. Now you've gotta be poised to be able to converse to be able to solve that problem. Amelia can be programmed to respond so gracefully, like the most graceful humans, and get the conversation back on track and moving towards resolution. Hopefully a resolution that results in a customer actually walking away happy. And you know, she does that by leaving emotions at the door. What is the name of the payee you would like to make the payment to? We found that customer satisfaction went up with the AI. Would you expect that? If you put an IVR in front of a contest, would you expect customer satisfaction to go up? No. Why did it with the AI? Because the AI showed one, a propensity to actually understand what a customer asked for. And that's what being human in AI is, being able to understand the person across from you so you can actually help them. Learning is key to continual service improvement and continual boosting of the NPS scores. And that's fundamental to Amelia that every time she misses an intent, every time that somebody actually does not get to a resolution, what would an intelligent human being do? An intelligent human being would try and escalate. When conversations get escalated to a human agent, Amelia still stays in the conversation and observes. She's learning. She's learning what that human agent is doing that she wasn't capable of doing. But we collect all those learnings from all those escalated conversations, and then we can take that knowledge and actually deploy it so that she can start doing it over and over. She is constantly looking to learn, to grow, and to be more competent. And again, remember that she again becomes someone who can share that capability with other members of the center, so everyone rises in capability and shares that knowledge that makes Amelia smarter and makes the human smarter. Standing out in a crowded, noisy marketplace is a challenge for any marketing organization. But I will say that one of the biggest weapons we have in the fight to cut through the clutter is the overwhelmingly positive recognition that we've received from the industry analyst community. Just in the last few months, we were named leader in chatbots for IT operations by Forrester, leader in intelligent virtual agents by Everest Group, Leader in innovation for digital associates by HFS. Leader in virtual assistance by Omdia. And we've earned the Customer Value Leadership Awards in Conversational AI by Frost & Sullivan. In a marketplace like Conversational AI, which is morphing in front of our eyes, 
Such amazing industry analyst recognition is worth a lot more in customer awareness than millions of dollars in advertising can ever deliver. It has been a real calling for a lot of the people at Amelia. Some of the best brains in cognitive engineering, some of the best brains in mathematics, some of the best brains in computer science, some of the best brains who have gone to the best schools in artificial intelligence. Top that with some of the best distinguished brains in management and marketing to be able to give them the direction. These people have got a cause where they believe that they are a fundamental part of introducing a digital workforce and making that happen. When I think about what excites me most about working at Amelia, the opportunity to actually be a part of changing the world, working through our channel partners, working through our ecosystem, and solving problems, real world problems, with this, this digital transformation platform called Amelia. Working at Amelia, it's really amazing to partner with this team of what we actually call them a pod. And a pod is made up of an engagement manager, a project lead, a cognitive implementation engineer, a technical lead, a designer, and an intent architect. And all of these roles individually contribute to the success of deploying a successful Amelia. Amelia is effectively lifting customer experience in seven out of the top 10 banks and six out of the top 10 insurance companies worldwide. It is very humbling. But I also know that this is just the starting point of that Turing horizon that we are achieving. You're going to see her taking an active role in all of our lives. And that role is by no means limited. You're in a position where you decide, where does a conversational AI play a role in my life? Your car will be powered by Amelia. Your house will be powered by Amelia. Your kitchen, your oven, talk to your oven. Tell what you need. You even get help from your oven on the recipe that you're trying to cook. The impacts and the potential are significant. Technically, we have taken what was a Ferrari or an F-15 and made her drivable or able to fly commercial pilots or regular consumers. Commercially, we've lowered the bar to entry where anyone, anyone can come into this game. There's no limit to where we can see her be deployed. The sky is the limit, right? There's nothing Amelia can't do. This is a movement about liberating man, allowing him the freedom to be able to engage in creative forms of expression. And he can actually explore and write the great big novel or paint the new impressionistic uh, painting or go ahead and see how can he go about colonizing Mars. And digital colleagues should come along and start undertaking the common chores that today shackle us and so by being a partner for the birth of a hybrid workforce you're bringing to the world digital colleagues that are going to now work together with human colleagues to make the enterprise world spin more efficiently and to improve the lives of people worldwide